Stormworms Tech Channel here, and today I'm doing a video about this. So I'm on Gizmodo.com, so y'all guys know what this video is about. Uh, so this video is about the this uh, outage issues that they've been having since February 23rd. Today is March 3rd, as I'm recording this video here. So this article is from February 28th, which was Tuesday. Uh, so it says that this network confirms hack following chaotic multi-day outage. So y'all guys know that this and Boost Mobile and whatnot, they have been uh, dealing with an outage for about like a week now. And now we know why the outage happened. We know why. Uh, it sucks ass. We all know that. And every Boost Mobile customer was affected by this. And it sucks that no one could not access the websites to pay their bills or whatever. You know, the um, uh, the websites were down and stuff like that. It sucks, and we know why this happened now. Um, so it sucks. We all know that. Um, yeah, it was f fucking chaos. Like it's crazy. So, uh, so the last one that out here. So I said, this network, the television provider and satellite telecom company has been hacked according to a statement published on Tuesday on its website this which owns Boost Mobile, Sling TV and rarely the last remaining scraps of Blockbuster among other subsidiaries has been experiencing significant significant Disruption since February 23rd, which was Thursday, right? Still days later, the company hasn't re hasn't recovered. Its primary website, this.com, remains gutted except for a notice, a system issue that our teams are working on is working hard to resolve. Some of the corporate some of the corporations other related sites like this wireless are completely down internally employees of this and its subsidiaries haven't been able to access their remote desktops or internal or their internal communication system to actually work according to a report from the Verge. Uh, what sucks with this uh this whole outage thing it the um uh it has affected this customers boost mobile customers boost internet customers and it's also impacted employees who work at boost mobile boost internet this and whatnot is it so it's impacted a lot of a lot of people um um uh it has um, uh it has impacted customers because they can't access their accounts they can't pay their uh bill. Um, they can't access the website to do anything, buy phones or whatever. And the employees, they can't access their, uh, they, they can't do or they can't work because the systems are down so they can't work. Oh, uh, what sucks ass, you know? So I feel sorry for everybody that was involved in this, you know? That were impacted negatively by this, like, it sucks. You know, it fucking sucks, like. This shit was crazy. Um, you know. Alright. Says that customers have reported being unable to pay their televisions or phone bills because of the outage. So this affects, this whole this outage thing has, affects Boost Mobile, Boost Infinite, this TV customers. Sling TV, it uh, it affects a lot of people, you know. This it sucks, you know. It says that the company claims its services quote should not be interrupted during this time. End quote. In the pre-recorded message that replaced its customer service phone line, there's been a noted. There's been a noted uptick and reported service outages in recent days per down detector. 
in short, it's been chaos for this network and its customers these past few days. It's been it's um all it's been chaos for everybody. It like this whole outer thing is fucking crazy, dude. Like, and you know, oh uh, what the hell? Uh, we all know that. Uh, we all know that companies have outages and stuff like that. But this is just fucking ridiculous. God damn. Hey, yo, this is crazy. Says now the company has admitted to ongoing disruption is the result of a quote cybersecurity incident end quote. In its statement, this wrote that the breach has affected some of our internal communication, customer call centers, and internet sites. Further, the company noted that on Monday, February 27th, it became aware that certain data was extracted from our IT systems as part of this incident. So, uh, yeah, it looks like some people's uh, personal information might have been uh, compromised. Like, this whole thing is just fucking crazy. Like, holy shit. So, it goes on to say here, the company said in... The company said that... The company said its investigation into the breach is ongoing and that it doesn't currently know if any customer data was accessed by the hackers. So we don't know that it's just, it's just an assumption at this point, I guess. The security of our customers' data is important to us, and if we learn that information was compromised, we will take appropriate steps and let any impacted customers know, end quote. But hopefully no one's uh, data got compromised, like, because that, that would suck. Like, like, like I said, this whole thing is just f fucking nuts. Since both cybersecurity experts and law enforcement are aware of and involved in addressing the dis breach, the company said, however, this didn't offer any details on what, on when the various persisting problems might be resolved. So we don't know when this whole outer thing is, is going to be completely resolved. We don't know when. Uh, today is March 3rd and it's been a week. So, yeah, it sucks. It says, as a result of this incident, many of our customers are having trouble reaching our service desk, accessing their accounts, and making payments. This said in the statement, we are making progress on the customer service front every day, including ramping up, ramping up our call capacity but it will take a little time before things are fully restored yeah I do understand that everybody is pissed off and that they want to access the accounts and pay the phone bills and stuff like that but you guys want to wait which I know it sucks I totally understand that um so that is a more I think that's uh it there so yeah I mean this whole thing is fucking crazy um if you go to down detector here you guys will see that this right there is down so it did uh if one did if one down detector the thing is red it means that that is a uh, serious outage so we type in base mode right here So you type in Beast Mobile there, and you guys will sit, hopefully will show up here. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, there's outages, uh, all over the place associated with this here. Uh, it sucks. Um. So if you go to their uh, websites here, 
So I'm on the um, Legacy Bismol website, and you guys can see that the website is up. You guys can browse the website and stuff like that. Uh, so this is the front page. You guys got like different uh, things here. Just a little bit 5G plus and whatnot. The guy say 823 for free when you switch the boost, which is a pretty cool deal there. Um, you know. So yeah, the legacy site is up. Let's see if you can access the phones and stuff. Let's see. Um. So yeah, y'all guys, y'all guys can uh, check out the fans and stuff like that. Uh, wait for it to load here. I don't know. Let's check out the Galaxy, the Galaxy 23. Why not? So y'all guys can should be able to log into your accounts on the Legacy Bismol site. Um, y'all guys can check out the fans, buy fans, and do whatever y'all guys do normally at Bismol. You know, at uh, that is up and running. Uh, the my that boost mobile site is up too. You guys will see here. Of course, get the same stuff on the same stuff here, like it is on the le on the legacy boost mobile site here. Um. So yeah, yeah, you guys like different things here, plans and all that good stuff. Like I said, free guys A23 when you switch the boost free tablet and all that cool stuff you know however if you go back up to the top here you guys will see a little notice here on the uh, top if you guys want to know more about the outage just click here so they've offered they've issued a statement uh, which is very nice y'all got to meet the statement there Um, yeah. So, y'all, uh, yeah. So, Baseball has put out a statement uh, for the outage and stuff like that. Um, yeah, this, yeah, this whole outage thing is fucking crazy. Um, the like, huh? Okay. That was weird. Let me try that again. Nope. Oh, that was weird. Let's see if you can, yeah, see if you can check out the phones here on the, uh, on the mod, on the mod dot boost. So, yeah, y'all gotta see the phones here, the iPhones and stuff like that, middle, Edge Plus and whatnot. So, y'all guys should be able to access your accounts on the mod dot boost mobile website as well. So the Metro Edge Plus. So that part's working fine. Y'all guys should be able, to, be able to access your accounts there. Now this is the best infinite site. It is still down. Um, y'all guys will not be able to access the best infinite site for right now. It's currently down as I'm recording this video. Uh, hopefully when this video goes live on YouTube, the boost infinite site will be back up and running. Uh, but you guys can't access the boost infinite site. Y'all, y'all guys can't do nothing. It's still down. And then you guys got the disk wireless site here. I'm about to reload that. So uh, the disk site, like it's like loading and stuff like that. But like a pop up will show up here talking about the outage and whatnot. So yeah, yeah, y'all guys should be able to access different uh, parts of the site here. So so yeah, y'all guys will get this pop up right here. If you guys go to the uh, this wireless website here, yeah, y'all guys will get this pop up here. And then if you guys got the uh dish TV thing, you guys will be getting this. Uh this site is completely down. 
Well, yeah, it keeps falling down. Yeah, I was gonna say different style uh, things here for this TV here. But I don't think y'all guys will be able to access anything on the uh, this the website here. It's completely down. But you guys can still look at different TV packages and stuff like that. So this part is up, but I don't think you guys can really do anything on the website there because it's down. Uh, so yeah, as I'm recording this video, um. The Boost Infinite site is down, this wireless website is down, and the Dish TV website is down. And apparently the Boost Mobile the Boost Mobile Legacy site is back down, I guess. I don't know. I just went I just went home and then, then this page popped up there, so the phone part still works. I don't know why I'm getting this uh error message now. It's it's kind of interesting, but scroll down here. Wait for a page to load. Yeah, I'm getting this now on the legacy boost site here. Yeah, I don't know why I'm getting this error message. Hopefully, it doesn't uh, do that to y'all. But you guys saw that the legacy site was working fine. Yeah, I guess to check out the. Now let's see if you can check out the plans here. Cause they don't make you put in the zip code for the legacy boost site. They don't make you put in the zip code. But on the uh my dad boost site you guys have to put in the email zip code and shit like that. Fuck all that. So you guys can see that the plans load up here and whatnot. So that part is still working there. So I think the whole legacy boost site is working fine. So you guys should be able to access your accounts. Uh, the my dot boost site is working fine. You guys should be able to access the phones, your account, and stuff like that. Pay your bill, pay your bill, and whatnot. The only site that is down currently, as I'm recording this video, like I said, boost infinite. This wireless and the Dish TV website are still down, so that sucks. Um, hopefully, when I upload this video to YouTube, that the all the all websites will be up and functional. But you guys will need to be patient. I know that this sucks for everybody involved. I understand that it sucks. I know that you guys want to. Uh, I know that you guys want to pay your bill, buy friends, and whatever you guys do normally on the Bismol website. You guys want to do that? I totally, uh, totally understand that. But you guys have to wait and be patient, and hopefully this will have this stuff up and running as uh, soon. So we'll have to be patient and just wait and see, you know. So, uh, yeah. So we now know why. This and Beast Mobile and whatnot have been down for like several days and stuff like that. Oh, uh, it sucks. I'm um, hoping that no one's uh, information got compromised. Hopefully not, because that would suck ass. So, um, yeah. So, what do you what? Uh, I mean, where? What has your experience been during the outage? Has you guys have y'all? Been able to access the websites lately, or what? Or you know, have you guys been able to access the websites, pay your bill, and, and pay your bill and stuff? I'm, not, I'm sure most of you guys have not been able to do that. But have you guys tried different alternative methods in terms of paying your bill and stuff like that? Because I know the Boost Mobile has the two, three, three to the two. Yeah, the Boost Mobile has the two, three, three thing. Uh, you could try to do that to pay your bill. Oh, uh, that is for Boost Mobile Legacy. I don't know about the my dot boost thing. I don't know if that's the same for that. Um, so yeah. So this whole outage thing sucks ass. Like hopefully that this will get this thing fixed uh soon, uh very soon. Cause then I know that everybody is very frustrated about this and it sucks so um hopefully this will uh, get it all figured out very soon so if you guys enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up guys if you smell a lot please rate comment subscribe thank you very much for watching my video and i will catch you guys in the next one peace out